NFTs are a way to digitally authenticate pretty much anything, be it a piece of visual art, audio file for a musician, a proof of attendance for an event. It is a way to create digital value for something. Obviously, the word NFT isn't actually a word, it's an acronym. Acronyms can often be challenging to understand, especially when the acronym stands for non-fungible token. Fungibility is like if I have a dollar and you have a dollar and we switch dollars, we still have the exact amount of money because we both agree that a dollar's worth a dollar. So there was no exchange of value. But if I have a cell phone and I have a dollar, there's something unique about the cell phone. I can't do a equal exchange. So that's what makes it non-fungible. Now, what an NFT is able to do is it's leveraging technology to be able to empower digital native artists to have a proof of where the original piece of work is. The old way of looking at it, you buy a physical painting, that's yours, you put it in your house, people come there and they see it. If you're super rich, like the Saatchis, you know, you can keep all your paintings in storage or in a bank vault and whatever it is. With an NFT, it's a digitization of that painting. And so that there is kept online, so to speak, and you can look at it on your phone, you can look at it on your iPad. The fact that it's assigned to you, that means although a million people can look at it, can take photographs of it, you own it. So brilliant about NFTs is it transcends race, it transcends wealth, it levels the playing field. Everybody has an equal opportunity. It's an open space. I've created over a thousand brands, and we have won at least over 600, almost 700 awards throughout the world of, of our branding exercise from logo package to the interior. And I put a lot of company into IPO and increase the value of the company by time, time and time. I've been keep telling myself maybe I should charge a royalty to the package that I created for them. With this NFT, with this digital thing, wow, this is changing. I think this is great. It's a great respect to the artist. Can we also create artwork that never repeats, that dreams forever? And we create algorithms that this AI can dream forever. Basically, there is no beginning, there is no end, which I think is conceptually very well fit to the NFT space, where I hope the blockchain is there forever. And that feeling and the time concept captures itself positively. These are called AI data paintings, and they can dream different AI models, such as space, nature, or urban. Uh, we have been practicing also these infinite AI data paintings. Blockchain technology, decentralized blockchain technology, provides us that opportunity to have kind of a public ledger, a record of all the transactions that are happening. And with that public ledger, now we can all scrutinize it. We can all you know, sort of participate in this, this dialogue of what truth is. And that's really powerful. I think if you don't care about blockchain, then you're gonna probably be obsolete. If you're a marketing company or you're a business and that you don't embrace this movement and technology, you're going to be left behind. Blockbuster Video should have done what Netflix did, but they didn't and Netflix dominated. So it's a case of evolution and the blockchain is now not only with the next generation adopting it in the way of their world, I think you'd be crazy to ignore it because it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger by the day and the generational wealth, the legacy that it can lead, and the next generation that are driving it forward. The beautiful and entertaining side of smart contracts and NFTs really lies with the opportunity for artists of all types, fashion designers, digital designers, musicians, to be able to use their art to interact with their fandom in a way that hasn't been possible before. You can offer exclusive access to events, exclusive content. You can make wearables and clothing for them that merch that they cannot access unless they own this NFT. You can host AMAs and meet and greets with them where only the holders of your NFT of this artist can participate in these things. 
the major growth within the token space, where you have all sorts of tokens, NFTs, non-fungible tokens, and fungible tokens such as cryptocurrencies, is when we are not even thinking about the fact that we're using them to purchase things and that we're using them to, you know, enjoy entertainment or, or various different applications that might be getting developed. We are builders, so we're building a platform. However, a lot of people just want something that works and gives them access to connection with other people, but also monetizing opportunities. So bridging those two worlds is what blockchain is all about, what this technology is all about, and this is why we're in this space. The interest in NFTs, I realize, has grown so quickly, so exponentially. A lot of people in all kinds of industries all have suddenly, like the ring rates, <laughs> oh, you know, it's time for NFTs. NFT me, baby.